Yeah, it looks good. Good job. Yeah, I think I can dump it all in my mouth. Is that enough? Oh, hold on. <laughs> there we go. Hey, y'all. How are y'all doing today? So, today's video is going to be kind of like a vlog day in the life. The neighbor is blaring music right now. Sorry if y'all hear the, the bass. <laughs> I don't know. He's young and he got like speakers for Christmas, obviously, because he just loves them a lot. But <laughs> um, anyway, I'm getting ready. My hair is super knotted. That's why I'm kind of separating it. I deal with this every time I get out of the shower. It never fails. But I just sprayed my hair with this Rin Pure Advanced Biotin and Collagen Thickening Leave-In Spray. I feel like this has been helping. I've been using the shampoo and conditioner as well, but it does not soften my hair. Um, like once it's brushed, it's fine, but my hair just gets really knotted when I get out of the shower. So I'm going to get this brushed. I'm going to start doing my makeup, um, and then we're going to run to Aldi because I need to grab dinner for tonight. I have zero groceries. I need to make a grocery order, but I chose not to do one today because it's raining all day on and off. And um, yeah, I just figured it would just make it easier if I ordered the groceries for Monday instead. So tonight I'm just gonna run and try to put together like a really affordable meal for our family. And I thought I would share it with you guys. I thought it would be fun like to do like a budget friendly dinner, but like still really delicious meal. And Dylan loves to cook and he is so good at it. So I'm gonna try to see if he'll um, film with me a little bit tonight and make dinner. So I'm gonna run and get that. Um, but yeah, that's it. I don't really have any big plans today. Nothing fancy is going on. We're just hanging out around the house. Um, I did finish up some editing today and I got um, my laundry room makeover finished. You guys, that video was so long. It was like three hours of footage that I had to cut down and I was I was able to get it cut down to 35 minutes. That was stressful <laughs> because I didn't want to leave anything out. I was like, I've got to share the entire process, but it turned out beautiful. I'll walk out there in a minute and show you guys. If you haven't watched that video, make sure you watch it. Um, I worked so hard on it and I was really excited to share that whole transformation, but it feels so good to have a nice laundry room. But anyway, I'm gonna stop talking, get my hair done, um, we'll do my makeup, and then we'll run to Aldi. Okay, we're gonna go to Aldi. I am ready, finally. It took me forever. It always takes forever because I talk too much. <laughs> and then I like start talking to a friends or something on the phone, and it takes way longer than necessary. Do you got it? No, I can't. No, twist it the other way. Towards you. How? Like, this way. There you go. Yep, one more time. Yep, one more time. Keep going. Keep going. Up top higher. Like, twist it up top higher. There you go. Twist, twist. Nope, like, put your hand up in the back. Yeah, there you go. Now twist it towards you. Get it? No. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, let me help her. There you go. Alright. Let's try again. <laughs> well, I Did you get, get it? it? No, I couldn't get it through the back leg. The black. It's okay. It doesn't have to go through the black thing. <laughs> That's just to keep the um the little thing from going up. You're fine. Just buckle in real good. Make sure it's nice and around your belly where it's supposed to be. Or your lap, I should say. Okay. Let's go. Also, something I forgot to do that I have been meaning to do for a while that I really need to go do like today is get a new battery for my key fob before my car does not start one day. It keeps flashing that my battery is crucially low. And I know it's going to happen to me and then I'm going to be like, dang it. I should have went when I saw it flashing. I'll get the 
hardly anything here. But they got some chicken. It's four dollars, five dollars, six dollars. We'll go with the five dollar one. What baby? What? They just have it put in there wrong. Let's see. You're strong. <laughs> okay, so this thing is genius. I'm gonna buy this for my shed because like my shed that's out back that I go into in the middle of the night and I can't see anything. I wonder how good it works. Ooh, a heating pad. Oh, well, it's about to storm. So I think we need to head home, yeah. I have to go by the, we ran back by the house really quick to drop off the food. Um, but now we're gonna run to Belle's Outlet. I need to find a top to wear on Wednesday. Um, I'm looking for like a long sleeve just plain black top so i'm gonna go and try to find something really quick and then we're gonna head home we'll start dinner and i'll share with you what i end up getting or if i see anything fun at bell's outlet i'll share it with you i love bell's if y'all have been watching for a while y'all know that i shop there all the time it's like my go-to spot for clothing amaya likes it too huh it's nice like which ones so pretty i like both of them they're so pretty oh there's more back there little mm -hmm. butterfly ones let me see the ones that are in your hand. Those are cute. I like those. Okay, if you like those, I like them too. Okay, let's get them. <laughs> You're so cute. Oh, there's more over here. Let's look. Sure. Oh, I like these. These are pretty. $6.99. Those are cute earrings. Can I wear those? You can't wear you you can't wear dangly earrings yet. When you get a little bigger, you can. Oh, jeez. I love these shoes. They're so cute. For only being $19, those are nice. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. That is pretty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the yellow is pretty, isn't it? Very vibrant. Oh, oh, I love this. <gasps> look at that. That would look so pretty in my room. Yeah, and a little. On my bed. $14. Once we got back from Bell's, I had some dishes to do really quick before I could start dinner. So I'm just going to quickly unload the dishwasher and then hand wash the dishes that are in the sink because a lot of the dishes that were in there I actually needed in order to make dinner. I was just a little behind on housework at this moment. So I needed to play catch up really quick and then we'll start cooking dinner. What you putting in All your hopes and efforts Are all in vain Who will pick you up When you've lost everything
from Aldi's, I ended up finding some squash and zucchini. Both of these packages were, um, one was like 150 something and then the other one was only two bucks. I got some macaroni and cheese that I already had on hand and I also grabbed some $5 chicken breast. So I'm going to kind of just pan fry up some chicken, but today I wanted to make it a little fancy. So I added some mozzarella cheese and cream cheese to a bowl. I just had a little bit left over that I wanted to use up. And then I took some ranch seasoning packet, added that to that cheese mixture, and I stuffed one chicken breast with it. And it was so funny. I asked my husband, I was like, do you want me to stuff yours as well? He was like, no, I'm good. As soon as I got done, he was like, okay, that looks really good. When did you do both of them? I'm like, no, I asked and you said no. So he ended up sharing the chicken breast with me and then the um, kids ate the other one. So these are actually pretty decent sized chicken breasts and, you know, we try to have like a nice amount of food on our plate. So we don't have to have like a lot of chicken. We usually do like, you know, a good starch, vegetable and, you know piece of chicken, I guess. I don't know what I'm trying to tell you guys. I'm just saying, <laughs> that's just how we do it. Um, but I used up the rest of that ranch packet to season up the chicken and added a few other just random seasonings. And I'm also going to chop up some fresh garlic and throw that into the pan with some olive oil. And that is how I'm going to cook my chicken. And while that is cooking, I'm going to dice up or slice, I guess I should say, the squash and zucchini and also put that in a pan to pan fry that. Now, we eat a lot of squash and zucchini. It's just one of our favorite vegetables. So you'll notice that like that, that's, wait, I cannot talk. That seems to be a very common vegetable that we eat. It's either squash and zucchini, broccoli, or green beans. That's it. Like we hardly eat anything else. We're very simple people. We eat a lot of the same foods. We just try to season it up a little bit different um, just to kind of change it a little bit, but also still get those same flavors that we enjoy. So the kids wanted to make a quick little avocado face mask. So we just took some fresh avocado, a little drizzle of honey, stirred that up really good, and then they used it as a face mask and it was super cute. So I thought I would just share. Hold on. Put your face up. How long do we have to wait? Hey. Hey. Oops, I just made a mess. Why? Always making a mess. Uh -oh. Mm hmm. All right, so here's the lineup we got my plate, Dylan's plate, Caden's plate, and Amaya's plate. Mm hmm. that's not in like horrible shape. It smells nice and it smells like home in here. You know what I'm saying? Like before it smelled like a shed. <laughs> so I'm just happy that I finally got it done. But I'm just starting some laundry really quick. Um, I'm just washing all my husband's clothes for the work week. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys the other side of the laundry room in just a second and it's even prettier than this side. Uh, it just looks so good in here. So this is my couch cushion, so don't mind that. But this is where my laundry soap is now. 
and I love it. I just take like a scoop, sprinkle her in, start the washer, but I just love it in here. I think it just looks so cute. I mean, obviously this is not supposed to be here. That's my couch cushion, like I said, but I am obsessed with this room. I sat out here like all night editing last night because I just love it so much. <laughs> Of course, after dinner, we all do our cleanup. We just do the dishes and do household chores. Now, I I would say I typically do this every night by myself, but on like every now and then, I have like the whole family kind of help out. And it's just a really good like teaching time. You know what I'm saying? Even Zoe helps out. She's even got it down packed. Like when it's time to load the dishwasher, I need her to be there for the pre-wash. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're all gonna get some cleaning done really quick. And then I'm gonna share with you a Bell's Outlet haul. All right. So we have been back from Bell's Outlet for quite some time and I really wanted to share with you a haul before I end today's video. Um, actually, I'll probably take this video into tomorrow. It just depends on how much footage I have. But I got the kitchen cleaned up. I'm like literally sweating right now. But before I let today end, I did want to share with you some of the things that I got. So first off, I ended up getting that pillow that I showed you guys um, in the shop with me. I... I just loved it and I knew that if I didn't get it I was gonna regret it and I was gonna stop thinking about it so when I find pieces like that that like really make me happy I don't know I don't know what it is about it but I just love the colors in it so much and it was $14.99 which if you think about it that's really not too bad considering the pillow covers on Amazon run about five to ten dollars depending of course like on the size um, and this is a pretty large pillow so I thought it was really cute and I am probably going to style it on my bed and then I'll just kind of I'll kind of rotate because I like the green in here but I also really would like to add in like maybe some soft blue like this or even like this uh I don't know like kind of like pinkish red color I don't know I just I've been really into color lately and I really love this so I really really <laughs> how many times am I going to say really I like it a lot. Like, I really like it. Okay. Anyway, moving on. I ended up getting these earrings right there. These were $4.99. Can y'all see those? Maybe it'll focus. There we go. So, I got those. I also got these little earrings. Those are for my daughter. I got me a pair of sunglasses. Just basic. Um... These are the BCB generation, and they were nine nine. They were nine ninety nine. Let's see. This is for my son for Valentine's Day. I thought it was really cute, um, and it was five ninety nine. And it has like little Reese's cups in it. Like, I love love Bell's Outlet. Can't get enough of it. Hold on. Let me put that back in the bag so he don't see it. Next up, I ended up getting me some black slacks. I have a funeral to go to on Wednesday, so I wanted to make sure that I had some like nice dress pants to wear, and these were $12.99. I also got a few other shirts. So I got this one, it says, but first country music. I don't know, it's just a t-shirt. I just thought it was cool and I wanted to grab it and it was $8.99 it's from the cotton heritage brand and I just liked the graphic tee of it I mean I feel like y'all know like these graphic tees lately have been like 30 25 to like 40 dollars online I am not spending that much on the t-shirt so when I see a cute one at like Bell's Outlet or Walmart TJ Maxx something like that I go ahead and snag it and I'll just add this to my t-shirt collection which is pretty small because I've been decluttering. Um, I also got this black shirt. It's just a basic black. I don't know if you can see it. I'm gonna try to zoom in. It has like this rib detail right here in the front. Um, and it was $9.99. I wasn't sure if I was gonna wear all black or um, I also got this like tan, very like silky looking blouse. And I have a black jacket that I, I'm going to wear because it's going to be chilly. So I thought this would honestly work a lot better. And it's a very casual day, so it's not like super fancy or anything like that. But I did want to wear black pants. And then the last two things I got 
was this little jade facial roller i have been getting like really puffy under eyes part one is because i don't sleep well um part two is because i'm tired from like <laughs> Like my kids and my husband and everything else like I'm just joking seriously don't take this the wrong way I'm just saying serious I'm getting older and I'm starting to get puffy eyes I'm almost 30 I feel like I look pretty good but you know the puffiness and the little all that stuff I'm not a fan of so I'm gonna try this out in the mornings and like put it in the fridge and then just kind of like roll it on my under eye the other day my eyes were so puffy when I woke up it was like it looked like I hadn't slept in like a week. So I took some ice cubes and I kind of just like gently patted them underneath my eye and it helped the swelling a lot. I had no other choice. I don't have anything else. So I grabbed one of these and hopefully that will help my really puffy under eyes. And then I also got a new mascara, just classic black Maybelline and the waterproof. Um, I've never tried this one, so I'll keep you updated. I love Maybelline mascaras though, by the way. I always use Maybelline. But that was it. That's all I got. Hey y'all, so it is a new day. I am currently working on laundry right now. Um, I have been working on laundry all day. All day yesterday I worked on it. I was so behind because when I was working on that laundry room makeover, um, our washer and dryer was unplugged for a few days and we got so far behind. So I've been playing catch up, but I'm also decluttering too. So I've kind of pulled out all the clothes. I got a mess in here. And yesterday I shared with you that I was going to be doing a bedroom refresh. But then it dawned on me that it was kind of pointless to do that because we are going to be moving our master, like our bedroom where it's at now, back into the master bedroom of the house. Um, and I'll be explaining all of that in that video. So stay tuned for that if you want to know like why we're moving that room back and, and everything. Um, but yeah, we have a lot of work ahead of us. So I'm going to get started today and just kind of start decluttering and trying to downsize this some more. I'm trying to be a minimalist, but like, <laughs> it's like so far out of reach. Like I know I'm not going to be able to be a minimalist, but I want to be just more simplified. I don't need all the clothes that I have and totally random, but I did a declutter with me on my cleaning channel, not last Sunday, but the Sunday before. And in the comments, a really sweet subscriber left me like great advice for decluttering my clothes and I really wanted to try her technique and see if it helps basically she said to just pull everything out of the closet sort it by color um, and season and declutter that way she said you'd be surprised like how many of the same types of shirts you have but once you color coat them or color co coat color coat them no <laughs> color code them why does that sound weird? Anyway, whenever you separate them by color um, and you go through everything, you'll see how many of the same types of shirts you have and you can, you know, be a little bit easier at get. It will be easier to get rid of things. I need to slow down. I'm talking too fast. I've had a whole coffee, so I'm like, huh, <laughs> like trying to talk so fast. But that's going to be in my next video or my cleaning video, the decluttering portion, and then I'll have like the bedroom switch. <sighs> we got a lot of Lots of content coming. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. Um, I will have my cleaning channel linked below as well in case you wanna follow me there for some cleaning and decluttering motivation. I have lots of that coming soon because this house is packed of stuff that needs to go to someone who could have more use for it. So I will be sharing lots of that content over there. Um, it's called Cleaning with Carrie in case you don't wanna use the links down below for some reason, but <laughs> I appreciate all of you being here today. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye y'all.